What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, we're going to do like a continuation of the last reading, okay? So, we know in the last reading, there was someone that was involved in a karmic relationship, okay? So, what this means is someone was dealing with a karmic or a third party, okay? So, what I'm going to do, Scorpio, is pull from the karmic tales, okay? So... If you're interested, Scorpio, well, if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Scorpio, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal Scorpio, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. All right, Holy Spirit, can you tell us more about this karmic or this party with this? Can you tell us more about this karmic relationship, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Can you tell us more about this karmic relationship? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Can you tell us more about this karmic relationship for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. So, Scorpio, your person could have been dealing with a third party that needed this third party to provide for them financially. Or, Scorpio, your person was providing financially to this third party here, okay? So, it's like the only reason that they stayed with this person or someone here stayed in a relationship was because they needed someone to provide for them financially, basically, okay? So, someone, Scorpio, needed somebody to take care of them, okay? Somebody either didn't want to work. Or they was just trying to live, you know what I'm saying, beyond their means. And they needed somebody to support that. All right, messages for Scorpio. Oh, okay, so Scorpio, whoever this karmic is or this third party, this person saying they're very close to this person's mom, okay? So the person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, maybe they and they, they, they mama like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't make no moves, they don't do nothing without their mom, okay? And this karmic be right there along with them, okay? This karmic is very close to this person's mom. So I feel like, like, if this person's mom has, like, a heavy influence on their life, okay, they possibly influence this person, Scorpio, to stay with a third party or a possible karmic Scorpio, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this karmic relationship. So, Scorpio, this karmic presented a better opportunity to this person that you were dealing with, okay? So, in the past, Scorpio, you could have been presenting, like, love, stability, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that most people want, right? But this person could have been offering, like, lust and sex and threesomes and drugs and alcohol. Like, they could have been feeding this person's need or feeding this ego, okay? It was like, when this person was bouncing out the scales, they was like, hmm, I got Scorpio offer and I got this third party offer, okay? Scorpio want me to love them and, and, and be honest with them and do all this shit, okay? But this third party don't care. They just want to have sex and I can do what I want. Like, I think I'm going to go with this third party, okay? So this third party, Scorpio, presented a better opportunity to your person than you did. Or at least in the eyes of your person, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. Let's see, the thing is, Scorpio, I feel like this, this Carmen knew. Like, you weren't going to be the type, you know what I'm saying, that was going to let them screw you and everybody else, you know what I'm saying, or y'all was going to be out here having open relationships or open marriage. Like, they knew whatever that they was going to present, like, you weren't going to do none of that, okay? So, it's kind of like they they kind of tricked your person, okay? And, and it really wasn't a, 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 to me, they was dumb, okay? Because how you going to get tricked? You wanted love or you wanted sex, a good time, okay? So, this person wasn't really wanting love at that time, okay? And this third party feels like that this person will always choose them, okay? So, in the past, Scorpio, they could have had a choice between you and this third party, okay? But this third party feel like no matter what, that this person is always going to choose them, okay? Maybe because they're taking care of this person or providing for them financially and they feel like because of it, they ain't gonna leave them alone. Okay, you ain't gonna leave. What they say, you ain't gonna um. Shit, I can't think of. They they know they they gonna this. They know that providing for this person or whatever they was doing, like they was gonna keep this person stuck. Okay, God dog, I can't talk Scorpio. Okay, and this person Scorpio for some of you guys, this third party feels like your person and them, like, they still have unfinished business, okay, so they could be, like, in a relationship, a marriage, or whatever, they're like, uh-uh, I'm not ready to leave this person alone yet, okay, because maybe they're providing for them, taking care of them, it's like, it's something they're doing, and they feel like, like, whatever they got going on, like, they got unfinished business, they're not through dealing with this, with this, uh, person that you're dealing with, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. 
I knew that you would eventually walk away. My work here is done. Oh, wow, Scorpio. Okay, so this karmic knew that eventually, well, I can't make this up. What did I just say? They presented a better offer to this person, okay? Like I said, Scorpio, you were wanting love, a family, stability, you know what I'm saying? Real type shit, okay? And they presented this person fake shit because they knew your person was fake, Scorpio. It was like they was able to read the elf out your person, okay? And they knew that your person was going for that fake ass offer, okay? And they knew, Scorpio, see, they knew that you was going to wait on this person, okay? Because you wanted to be with this person, okay? But they knew your ass was not going to wait forever to be with this person, okay? So it was like, whatever this karma did, whatever this third party did, Scorpio, they did it on purpose, okay? They knew that whatever was going, you know what I'm saying, whatever they did, it was going to eventually make you walk away okay so they knew if they kept this person stuck by either you know taking care of them financially giving them sex giving them all these offers scorpio that they knew that you wasn't gonna get them scorpio okay they felt like the longer they could delay this person coming towards you that you would eventually walk away okay and a lot of us scorpio we don't walk the fuck away okay and this third part of this karma feels like their work is done you know what i'm saying because you did exactly what they wanted you to do okay Ooh, messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Look, Scorpio, for some of you guys, they could be binding together financially, okay? Which means they can, like, have, you know, cars, houses, you know, apartments. Like, they have land, deeds. They have things that both of their names is on some type of piece of paper together, okay? So they could have been married to this third party or they would just did things together because, they were together so long, okay? Or maybe when your person needed help or this third party needed help, like, because they dealt with each other for so long, like, that's who they went to for, you know, financial help. All right, messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. But Scorpio... <laughs> Scorpio, this this karmic is saying, okay, this third party is saying they don't even have sex with this person. Like, this is a whole loveless ass relationship, Scorpio. Like, they ain't having sex. Like, I don't feel like they want to be with each other no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, this karmic feel like they work is done. You know, so they ain't got to have sex with this person. They ain't got to show them love. They ain't got to show them attention. They just treating them like shit, basically, because they feel like their work is done. Like, they ain't got to do nothing else because they, you don't walk away, okay? So, their job is done. They can treat this person like like shit, you know what I'm saying, and, and throw them out for garbage, you know what I'm saying, like, they threw with them, basically, messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, tell us more about this karmic relationship, all right, look, Scorpio, for some of you guys, they ghosted you when they got back with this karmic or this third party, okay, so you will be talking to this person, you know, everything going well, they coming over, y'all spending time, they calling you, you calling them, they answering your messages, all that, okay, bam, as soon as they got back with this karmic, this third party, you ain't hear nothing from them, okay, and this is someone, Scorpio, they kept them stuck because they knew this person came from a broken home, okay, so I feel like this third party and your person, like, they had a lot of history together, okay, possibly even were married to the fact to where this person opened up you know what i'm saying and talked to this person about their life about their background about their childhood okay so they could have told this third party like yeah you know what i'm saying my father and my mother abandoned me and my family or my siblings you know what i'm saying it was just us it was just me you know and so they knew whatever they did okay because in that last reading it talked about you know the ten of swords like they took betrayal like they kept backstabbing him betraying this person over and over again because they knew they weren't gonna leave they knew they was not gonna break up this family because because they didn't want those kids to experience the same experiences that they had, okay? And this third party is saying, Scorpio, they are not going anywhere, okay? So for some of you guys, like, they like, they, they, they saying they ain't going nowhere based on Scorpio. Like, they don't give a damn what you do, okay? Whether you walk away, whether you stay, like, they not going nowhere, okay? Because remember, some of you guys, this third party said that they have unfinished business with your person, okay, and they not going nowhere until they either drain this person dry, or till they get every little drip drop about this person that they can get, okay, and when they get through Scorpio, they gonna feed their ass to the wells, okay, they gonna throw them away, because they don't need them no more, you know what I'm saying, this is a, a connection, I feel like that was only based on, like, conditions or terms, like, you know how you sign contracts, and you be like, long as you did this, I'll do that, you know what I'm saying, it's like the, the contract and the terms, like, it was been over with, with this person, okay, but they were still holding on, still trying to make it work, possibly because they had family, you know, a family, you know what I'm saying, with this third party, or they was just stuck, you know what I'm saying, not knowing what to do, all right, Scorpio, so let's see who we talking about here, all right, Holy Spirit, I love you, Scorpio, and if anything resonates for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay, 
All right, Holy Spirit, who was dealing with a karmic here? We got heavy Gemini, Sash, and Aquarius. Who is this reading for my Scorpios? Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Scorpio, this is about a Leo, Aquarius, a Scorpio, and a Virgo. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about? Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, and Aries, you guys. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have. I love you, Scorpio. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.